So the aha moment for me in understanding a person's motivations really came through the inspiration of my son Alex. He's my stepson. And so there was a, a slight disconnect as he grew older and I didn't quite get him. And so through a simple Monopoly game, I, entered, I saw those property cards and they taught you how to treat that property. And I thought, what if I could come up with a way for Alex to express to me what motivates him and what I can do better as a dad? So then I thought, what about these relationships at work? I mean, we spend more waking hours at work than we do with our own family. So wouldn't this take stress off the workforce, uh, misunderstandings about what people mean behind the words they say? And so um, that compelled me to bring this into the workforce. In a franchise world, your relationships are spread all across the country. Imagine now having a technology where with a click of a button, you'd understand that person's motivations you know the words that they need to hear to feel safe. You know their do's and don'ts, all presented in a very simple to use communication tool. Why, what, and how of every human being. Why you behave the way you do. Every behavior goes down to your top five motivations. It reveals what motivates you and how to positively influence them. Dignifying a person um, puts like fireworks in their soul and you can do it in just a short moment. Okay, so this is how I would dignify you, Candace. You are a type of person when people walk in the room, they love you. Okay. Okay? <laughs> you are like the Energizer Bunny. Yeah. <laughs> you keep going and going and going. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to teach you everything about running a store that I can. Okay. And I will be committed to you. And I want you to be committed back to me. Well, obviously. All right. Here we I go. Can. All right. So just think of this. Some of you see this as a career. Some of you see this as a stepping stone. No matter where you see yourself now, there is one thing that fundamentally doesn't change. Being a leader and a manager is a voluntary position. No one's forcing you to be it. Therefore, if we're going to be it, let's be awesome at it. He is really good at helping us executives understand what's amazing about millennials. And uh, the number one question you ask yourself is, how do you motivate millennials? And what I experienced in this room is not only does he have a beautiful program to help us do that, but it resonated, resonated so well with everyone here. Boy, I get a lot of questions about the millennials. Unfortunately, I hear a lot of bashing of the millennials. Uh, they're not loyal. Uh, they're not showing up on time. Um, this, that, and the other thing. Please understand, the millennials could be the most loyal generation if you bring dignity into the workplace. So you form a solid relationship and really get to know their gifts and talents and place them on the right seat on your bus, look out. They become the most loyal generation, I believe, than any that came before us because they believe in relationships. They're challenging the status quo and that is why dignity-based communication is really taking stride in America. How many in this room are between the ages of 18 and 34? Duck! You are changing the corporate landscape, and I love you. You are changing the way we have to do business as leaders. Adding a team building event to your convention brings the whole experience full circle because not only does your audience learn about dignity-based communication, they get first-hand use of it. A team building event also captures the motivations of your franchisees. Now your field staff has their words and has the communication software to be able to talk to them effectively and efficiently as they're spreading out all over the country. You know, in my younger days, I used to be an entertainer on a cruise ship. And being a cruise staff, I heard a lot of funny questions, which I'll share with your audience, but one story was of a woman who paid for an ocean view cabin and came back complaining because when she looked out her porthole, she had a view of the parking lot. That led to a little bit of inspiration. Here's the deal. What you're learning today is a life thing. It's not a manager thing. You have people in your life and you know who they are. They walk into your stateroom and they look out your porthole. What do they see when they're in your presence? Do they see the sun setting, which is hope and, and excitement? Do they see St. Thomas in all its glory? Or do they see a parking lot? I'm challenging you to get after it today. Get after it. We've used it for about 30 days in our Great American Cookie stores, and we find um, 
that our turnover ratio has gone down, our managers are able to communicate a lot better with their people and uh, just be more effective and efficient. I was really inspired by everything he had to say and what he taught me about myself. Some things you kind of know, but he gets more into depth about it and I really enjoyed that. I really, not only on myself, but in other people as well and how you can relate to them and how you guys can connect with each other and work together in a positive and great way. It's time to have them feel appreciated for who they are, not who you want them to be.